One of the things that I read about you was that you worked in a sand mine when you were young. That you dug sand all yeah. day. Yeah, that was growing up. <clears throat> um, I was ten, about ten years old when I started that because I was in the village, and uh, where where I grew up. After my leaving my aunt's house, I went to my grandma, and we had to like do something you know we had to work to contribute at home uh, to buy oil to buy food and also for our scholarship for books so we have to do you have to work and that's how we started even though he that work was um, meant for adult but we didn't have any option so we take what we had at the time Growing up doing something like that, that's got to, first of all, it had to be very difficult. Like very digging difficult. sand. Yeah. It's also your body must develop very strong from doing something like that. At 10 years old, like as you're growing, as you're maturing, doing something that's that difficult, yeah. I mean, it must have made you really fucking strong. Uh, yeah, I, I hope so. But what I well, was obviously it did, <laughs> but it's just genetics too. There's a lot of good things that that came your way that way. But but also the difficulty of doing something when you're that young, such hard labor. I mean, it had to teach you discipline. There had to be like some positive. It's terrible that you had to do that at ten. But yeah. there had to be some positive aspects of it, some positive repercussions of it. Oh, definitely. I mean, uh, <clears throat> I didn't like like my ha life. And uh, I felt, I always feel like I miss my childhood. Like, it's something mm. missing in it because uh, it's been s too much um, frustration yeah. in my life. You know, um, like, I had to work by that age and it wasn't enough. Like, uh, when the sc when school started, when school starts all the time, I'm going to go to school and most of the time still didn't have a pen to take note or a notebook to write on it sometimes uh, no shoes or clothes just have to wear like my uh, uniform was tear all 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 over and um, I was frustrated to look around and see other kids looking good you know they went to the vac uh, they went in vacation to this family member came back with all brand new stuff and i was just there looking crappy with my i have to, i had to like take my old book and look for an empty page to take a note expecting hoping that when i have a book i will copy the note from this year in the new book mm -hmm. but at first i have to use the i always had to use the old book and most of the time, teachers, they don't understand why you don't have a book. They don't understand why you don't have a pen. Sometimes they just think that uh, you didn't tell your parents. You should uh, um, tell your parents so they can buy it for you. They don't understand that you can not just afford it. You know, your parent can't. And um, they'll kick you out from the classroom. Maybe really? just to say, go tell your parents. And... And you couldn't tell them we can't afford it. You didn't want to say it. Then the, the, um, they knew, they but knew. what can they do? Right. Nothing, you know, because most of the time it's gonna be even with the money that I work that they're gonna buy my pen or my book. Yeah. But uh, you work sometime and they don't pay you right away. It's maybe after month, months, you know. So all the process and sometimes they'll just kick you out from the school because of the um, scholarship fee uh, you, ha you haven't paid on time. So they kick you out. So I was a subject, I was subject of shame to mm. other kids, yeah. you know, because all the time when they kick you out in front of 50, 60 uh, uh, students, it's not a good thing, you know. And um, I couldn't have a friend because you know how things work. You have to be able to bring something on the table to uh, enjoy, you know. But since you don't even have a pen or a book to take note, to take note nobody expects you to uh, bring a lunch, um, um, lunch or to buy something uh, in the break, break time 
to share with them so they don't want to share with you since they don't have any hope that you will share, have something to share with them mm. and i was always in retreat i always stay in retreat and that's how i technically grew up by myself mm. i end up like not even trying to have a friend I'm like, okay, this is my situation. Maybe I just, I feel uh, okay, just retreat myself, not just to try all the time. I get shame of it all the time, yeah. you know. I always, I retreat and don't have to deal with these people with their opinion on me. And, um, but that motivated me at some point. I'm like, damn, look, this kid, they are looking at me like I'm, I worth nothing, but technically I worth more than them because uh, I'm working, you know, uh, even though what I have is less than what they have, I deserve what I have. I work hard for it and they don't do, they don't work, they don't deserve shit. They are just a kid. Right. They work and they, they, uh, their parents provide for them. I, I'm not just lucky. I'm not just lucky to have the chance but i'm still trying which mean i'm not bad at the end of the day you know so um, that's that pushed me to like from there i wanted something to prove them wrong i'm like okay i gonna do something that gonna prove this kid that i'm not beneath them so that I'm, gave you motivation yes that gave me motivation because th that frustration I was full of frustration and I want to like drive this into something like I have to prove them. I can't go to the party. I can't be between, I can't have friends as anyone and I have to work hard than anyone. You know, um, my school was like, my um, middle school was, I think about six miles from home so it took me almost two hours to get at school so you walked yeah so i walked around about two hours and uh, before meet the first student is at least after like 40 minutes walk you know so i have to wake up at five just get ready start work sometime with not uh, not eating then I get to school and the school uh, closed at maybe four to five. But since I didn't eat in the morning, uh, by noon, one or two, I'm hungry. I'm starving. I can't take it anymore. I will leave school sometime, you know, just because I was hungry. Or if I, uh, if I, have a ch if I had a chance to have breakfast or something, I won't eat before I leave home because I know if I eat at five or six, I will get hungry early. I will take it at school to eat maybe around 10 so I can resist until the end, mm. you know. And that's uh, how I I did it my um, this entire time. So my um, my process was all different for, from other kids. And uh, nobody could have understand that. You know, he was just on me and I was the only one knowing what I'm dealing with exactly to get there. So, and all those things keep, kept frustrating me. I'm like, I'm going to show this. I'm going to show them. Like, How long did you have to work in these uh, sand mines? Until I left school. Until I finally, I left school, I was 17. And then I kept doing it. And then So I you did it from 10 to 17? You did it all through school? Yeah. And what... When that did was you, the only thing to do. Right. When did you do it? Like, if you went to school during the day, when did you work in the sand mines? Over the weekend, over the um, holidays, because I never uh, have a chance to go to... The, I never had a chance to go to holiday, even for the summer holiday, which is like three months. That would be... Because we have a tropical climate. So at that moment, we have two seasons. A wet season and dry season and that's a wet season so it's almost rain all the time kids go to vacation and all those stuff uh, adult doesn't want to work because it's raining all the time guess what that was our opportunity when they don't want to work so we have a chance to work oh. 
otherwise they will come back to their job we will not have job right you know so that was a good opportunity to work under the rain all the time like get back home shaking because all day long it's been raining so you have to stay active because, uh, uh, because as as soon as you stop working moving you get cold you just get freezing so you get active it forced you to stay active and to work even more and our employer will, will love that because you work even more than normal 